Let's get to chapter two, estrogen and you. What's the essence of that chapter? Well, the essence of that chapter, estrogen and you, is really to say that, you know, when we think about women, what do we think about? I mean, I asked my mother this, who's 93, and she said, well, girls are sugar and spice and everything nice. <laughs> and so I said, well, that's, that's exactly right. And I said, and if I were adding to it, I would say, and a splash of estrogen. Ah, because, because when you think about it, every major event for women involves estrogen. It's true. When you go through puberty, your estrogen is going from baseline up to in an erratic way, but it's going up towards your reproductive levels. Mm -hmm. And then with that estrogen comes your curvy hips, it comes your breast development, it changes your brain, you start thinking about boys, and you start thinking about sexual things that come to mind. And all these things are going on because of these hormonal changes. Now it's not only estrogen, but it's primarily estrogen. When you go through your reproductive years, you're having a menstrual cycle. So you're having hormones that's every 28 days or 30 days or so are going through a cyclic change. And during those times, you're having the lining of your uterus built up, ready to receive a fertilized egg. And if you don't get pregnant, well, you have a shedding of the lining, you have a period, you start all over again. And when you go from your transition from reproduction into perimenopause, that window of time that precedes menopause, it could be up to 10 years in length. When you're going through that time frame, once again, we're talking about the same hormonal changes that were happening in puberty, only they're happening backwards. Mm. So as Ginger Rogers said to Fred Astaire, I had to do everything you had to do, only in high heels and backwards. <laughs> so, so the same hormonal things were going on uh, for women backwards. And then when you get to menopause, now you have those hormones back down to prepubertal levels, again, uh, at a very baseline. So you have this life cycle of change in hormones. So this is kind of, estrogen is, is, is totally tied to women, their very being, their essence, their thinking, their bodies, everything about them. And so it's an integral part of a woman's life.